Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be planning for the week of April 10th in my horizontal planner. I use this for journaling, and this week I didn't really have a lot of time to sit down and kind of figure out the themes that I wanted to do for each spread or what sticker books I wanted to use. So I was just going through the sticker books, all my racks of them, and um, I'm just looking at books that I haven't used in a while. Um, so yeah, I pulled out colorful animal. Um, I used this once. Um, I haven't used it again. I really like the holograph, but I feel like it's just going to really suck trying to photograph it. I'm not sure if I want to use it or not, but it has a lot of that holographic stuff in here. So yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll just see how it goes. But I'm going to go through here real quick and pull out some stickers that I want to use. I'm pulling this one because it only has that thin stripe of it. So I don't think that would bother me too much or give me too much of a hard time. I don't know. I really like how it vibes with the book. I'm just going to pull the ones that I really like out. Don't know if I'm going to use that. They do have some black quotes in here that I can use. But I don't know. I think I might want to go with like black and then this colorful vibe. Do I want to mix the tiger stripe and the leopard print? I'm not sure. I guess it doesn't give you much option when it comes to choosing which um, animal pattern to go with. I like long boxes. I'm going to pull this one out just in case they don't have a double wide. So I like to use one or the other on this side of the page. We have a bunch of boxes that I'll come back to and I think we'll mix these up. I'm going to pull this page out and then we have quotes that are perfect. Alright, and then there's gold foil. Hmm. Okay, so I have some to start off with, and like always, I do want to start with this one over here, and then we'll build on it. So I'm just going to try and line it up along that side of the page. Let's see. I'm going to add... some circle elements in here. Just trying to figure out where. Maybe something like that could work. That's a fun little combo. We'll add some of those um, Oops, that was too close. Some of those animal prints in here as well. So let's go back and decide which animal print we want to use. Oh, I already pulled it out. I'm going to go with this one to start, and I'm going to use the colorful one up here because this whole sticker is just black and white. kind of don't like how it just stops right there, but I guess we can try to bring it out over here a little bit. And then the 
let's add some right here. Okay. It's a good start. I feel like it needs um a little bit more color maybe. So, let's find a colorful box to put over there. Have some of these. There is a whole section of just boxes though. There they are. Okay. I don't know if I want to bring the green in, but there's some green in this, so I'm thinking that it could work. Okay. I might find a different element to combine with that just because I don't want any more of this animal print over there and then for this side we're gonna do a circle but I have this big box and it's blue so I don't want to use this blue I want to do something that's gonna be bright compared to it I'm going to do this one in this corner. Put that box. Alright, let's add some color to that cluster and we'll do this one right here there we go and then in the back we have the black quotes or we have these quotes, let's just go to the black ones. There we go. Find your soul. Take a step back and look at it. All right. I want to use this one. So I'm going to put this one down here. I'm going to combine this black box with it and another colorful box. I have this one pulled out already. So we'll do that. I want to cut this one up. And put it here. So maybe we split it right there. And we put stay patient. And trust your journey. And then we have this one, so let's do the same thing over there, just so we have some matching design elements going on. 
Let me put this one. Maybe I'll just put it along the top here. Okay. We have a few more of these. I don't know that I'm going to add this one actually just because I didn't bring in any more yellow except for like this little pop right here. So I think I might leave it at that. I'm going to pull this box cluster up because I feel like it's a little lonely up there. So how about we kind of just layer these boxes off of that instead. And then maybe we can add another little quote up there as well. I'm going to go ahead and put this one down here, so I'm going to try my best to cut a right angle out of it. We'll see how I did. Well, that wasn't bad. Okay. So we have another piece that we can use somewhere. Maybe just down here in this corner. Okay, I think I'm just going to go through the book one more time and add in anything that I might see that I want to add. Little page flag there. Might switch that out for a skinny box. I'm not sure. Maybe not. Oh, well, you know what? I didn't bring any brown in. So let's do a brown one instead. Let's take that one off and add a little header box here. Okay. I did say that I wanted a little quote up there. So we could either do happy or love. I want to do love. Oh, it's create what you love. Ooh. I was thinking about just putting the love part here. I could cut it off. Let's cut it apart. So create. I knew I was going to regret that. Okay. I need to clean my scissors really bad. Okay. So we have create this little strip what you love. So I want the love to go right here and then we can put create right there. Okay. All right, definitely different than what I normally do, but I do like it. Let me know what you think about this spread down in the comments. Please like and subscribe so you can see all my future videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!